It's time for a screaming lesson. Name's Poppet, and for today's video, I kind of just wanted to give you guys the whole rundown about, well, about this channel and why I decided to make this channel, you know? So, first things first, this was something that I've wanted to do since I was a kid, but I never really found out how to do it until, up until now. But now that I've figured out how to do it, I've decided to take full-on advantage of this. Um, what I mean by that is, I am hoping to not only produce, you know, gaming videos of my gaming gameplay and all that, but I'm hoping to show videos of my art projects, my arts and crafts, things that I sell on Etsy, and things that I've um, advertised on Instagram. I'm also hoping to get into voice acting and acting, so I'm hoping that by, you know, making YouTube videos, I'll be able to capture a producer or, you know, a voice actor or whatever, and try and, you know, see if they're interested in, you know, what I've got so far. Right now, it's very small. All it is is just gameplay, but I do want to show my bath bombs, my hot cocoa bombs, I also want to show my jewelry and my, um, my other designs that I've made. And I've also wanted to show some clips of me doing small bits and pieces of voice acting for the, um, characters on this game. Because I really like this game and I'm hoping that Hoda Studios is looking for people to hire for voice acting, or at least for the English side. Because I am looking forward to that, but it's not just them. I am hoping to capture, you know, to get into cartoon work. I don't want to just voice act for games, I want to try to voice act for game for games, cartoons, and anime, as well as other videos that I could just voice act for. I also want to get into acting, because it's been something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. And I'm hoping once I'm done with all this gameplay stuff, and I get my arts and crafts up, and then I get my other videos up, I can start moving on to the more serious projects. Which will be training my voice for singing, because I am... I was recently asked to do a song for a podcast for one of my friends, and I've been having a really hard time writing lyrics down, to be honest. But it comes with a challenge, and I like that, because with challenge comes practice. And with practice, you don't need to be perfect, but you will get a better understanding of what you want and what you're trying to do. <clears throat> as much as I am hoping to, you know, become a voice actor and actor right now, I am just hoping to try and get a big audience so people can see how hard I'm working and also appreciate it. I'm also trying to get a little bit of an audience going so that way, you know, people know who I am and I just, and I don't just, you know, appear on screen. Nobody knows anything. Like, at least somebody will know. And by doing YouTube, I've seen people have already gotten acting jobs and voice acting jobs as well as other jobs just for showing off their work and taking full-on advantage of this opportunity. So since YouTube allows us to upload to YouTube for free, I decided I'd cap on that. <laughs> I'd really like to show my work, and I'd really like to show what I can do and what I'm able to do. I may not have experience, but that's okay, because even without experience, I'm still trying, I'm still making an effort, and I'm still pushing forward no matter what. Because eventually, you know, somebody will go, hey, you know, maybe, maybe I can give you a little bit of experience, you know? So, it's gonna be a while. It's already taken me several years just to get to this point. I'd say that, um, the first, um, the first progression point in moving forward in my life was putting up my Etsy and selling resin items. At first, it was just resin items. Then it started to climb up to soap products, lotion products, and then it started to climb up to little snacks, you know, little meals, little, you know, things that you can eat. I haven't really sold those across the internet because I, I don't know how food handles very well traveling, you know? But I have sold some chocolates and some other little candy treats that I felt would actually be able to survive the travel distance. And people have loved those. And they didn't just love what I've made, they appreciated the work that I put in. So I'm hoping by working even harder, not just on arts and crafts, but working very, very hard for everything that I want, I can maybe get to, you know, be an actor or a voice actor. It's been something that's been on my mind since I was a very little child. And it kind of just, it really didn't go into play up until maybe 
two to three years ago. I was kind of, you know, constantly smoking all the time. I didn't really want to do anything else. I didn't even really get up out of bed, and I was pretty depressed for the most of the part. I wouldn't eat very well, and my motivation was, you know, very small. But out of nowhere, I kind of just woke up. I did not want to, like, abuse weed as much as I have been anymore. And I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to be an actor since I was a kid. My own family has seen that in me, and they used to mock me for it. But, like, if you're an actor, it's going to be a pretty credible job, you know? And that's what I feel like I want to try for. But I also have been wanting to be a voice actor because, well, I have seen a lot of anime and a lot of cartoons, but I guess my main inspiration would be um, Robin Williams. He was a very, very good actor and a voice actor, I felt, and he was one of the few that could really get into tune with his characters, and he was my inspiration behind that. But then there were also characters and people like Holly Berry. I loved her in her Catwoman outfit, and I just loved her in that role. But then I fell in love with her storm role later on. And it just it kept opening my eyes, you know? All these people can do so many great things. It doesn't matter what's holding them back. They still decided to push forward. So since the only thing that's holding me back is my habits of smoking really badly, I've decided to try and lessen that. So I have been smoking lesser and lesser, and I've even been vaping lesser. It's just really hard. <clears throat> And I also fear that I may have permanent lung damage from it because I notice that there's a lot of mucus in my throat often and it's really hard to speak for things like this because I'm not sure if you heard it in the other videos, but I will cough or, you know, try to readjust my voice like I am now. I guess, um, there was a lot of reasons for this YouTube account. It wasn't just to get the eyes of producer or actor. It was also just to have some fun. <clears throat> and something that I've noticed about Tower of Fantasy specifically is that people do not play it to have fun, even though it's a game to have fun. I mean, we, we live in the real world. We grind. We don't get anything. And that's exactly how it is for this game, but it is a little bit more forgiving than the real world will be. And I'm hoping that by giving it some love and, you know, some attention, the devs will also see that, take up some suggestions, and actually pay attention to, you know, what either I'm saying or what other people are saying. And they'll be like, hey, you know, we're kind of interested in what you've got. We're interested in your ideas. You might be beneficial, you know? And specifically, Tower Fantasy gets a lot of hate from both China and from Global entirely. And they don't like that, you know, all the limited gotchas. They feel like, they feel, they do feel pressured to join in them. And there's nothing wrong with that. It is a very hard game to play for free, and it is often easy to get pressured because you see all these other people with all these other cool weapons, cool matrices, cool gear, and you want to in on that. But for Tower of Fantasy, you don't actually have to do that, and people feel forced to do that. I'm hoping that, I, I don't know, I, I know I can't really change or do anything for this game or Hoda Studios, but for me, this is... You know, I can make it into my own Isaki, and that's what I want to do with not just this game, <clears throat> or my character, but my real self. I mean, there's so much in this world, right? May as well just start taking advantage of it one by one. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. It's kind of all the time we have for today, and I appreciate you guys listening to my rambles and rants. Even though I'm sure I was kind of repeating myself, I'm not good with scripts yet. I'm still writing them. But it, it's really hard, just like with lyrics. They're both really challenging. And it's even harder to read and follow through as you're trying to do a recording. <laughs> but thanks, guys. I, I truly do appreciate this. Let's see how far we can get in this world, right? <laughs>